Well, this is quite the dimsy place. Of course, they'd want to meet here. Ugh, hardly any light. Hardly anything at all. These barrels even anything in them? Of course not. No wine, no beer, nothing. Just empty barrels hanging around. <sighs> oh, good. It's even fallen into disrepair. Even better. What do we have here? Doctor, apologies I could not encounter you in person. For now, take this vial and find your way into the manor on the main street. I await your arrival, G. <laughs> Why not? Just to make everything even better. I was already having such a wonderful day, but now I can't even be made in person. The main street. The manor on the main street. Where is that supposed to be? I have no idea. Am I in that manor right now? I don't know. The elevator just kind of brought me here. <sighs> Such a dimsel and dim place. You'd think all of this gloom would lead to some nefarious people lurking about. Hopefully I'll be able to avoid them. Can't imagine they'd be happy about me sneaking around in their city. Although there is a vial here of the good stuff. Yes, I'll hold on to that, just in case I need it in the future. You know, I've heard this stuff is quite addicting. Never tried it myself, though I did have some friends back in university who would dabble now and then. Oh, lovely cobwebs and catacombs. Is there going to be a corpse around the next corner? No, there's a broken wall. Well, it's not glamorous, but I'm still in decent physical condition for my days on the track team. Should be able to vault over this no problem. Ha <laughs> ha! Still got it! Yes. Still got it. But where is it that I have it? There's so much fog and such. This place is just... Ugh. You could cut it with a knife! Or a sword or a cannon more like. Hmm. Blood moon. Ominous. Possibly connected to curses. I'm not usually one to believe in such things, but in this place? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Warden Court. Alright, well, I guess there's nowhere else to go. Everywhere's barred and boarded. This place seems like it was once, back in its day, quite the settlement. But now. Nothing of the such. What is that music? Is that a phonograph? In there? That's not exactly what I would expect, but, uh, in my, <laughs> in my professional opinion, that is a bad sign. Blood on the floor. Looks relatively new, too. Lovely. <clears throat> A knock, knock, knock. Hello? Anybody home? I, I saw you had a fire lit inside. I'm trying to find the main street. Could you point me to the main street? Uh, anybody? No. Well, it's worth a try. I mean, the door is boarded. Doesn't have a door at all. Just boards. Anyway, I guess we're going to be going this way. Let's see what joys are around the next corner. Oh my. Oh my! Um, hello! Sir? Sir? Uh, madam? I can't tell with that garb. Hello? Y are, are you alright? No, no you are not. Time of death, uh... Whatever time it is now. Oh, his eyes. What in the world are you? It looks like you didn't go down without a fight, though. Bullets and a sword through the heart. Hm. <laughs> That's more than enough to get the job done. You know, since you won't be using this, I think I'll just uh, take that with me. Thank you. Rather fancy to fight in a place as dismal as this cane sword. Better than nothing. Hopefully I won't have to use it, but... You never can quite tell, especially if there's more of... That round. Such odd dress. Jailhouse, hmm? 
locked, of course. Can I hear anything? Anything at all? Somebody's walking around in there, but... What is that breathing? What is this place? What was this place? If you are ever human, you are not anymore. Hopefully, I won't find any others such as you in this area before I can find a way out. <coughs> okay. Main Street, Mara. Well, at least I can use this for something, as there doesn't appear to be anybody about. And the only way in is through the unbarred window. <clears throat> uh, I do apologize for this, if there is anybody in there. But, uh, I want to break this window now. Anybody object? Anyone? No? Alright. Not generally one for vandalism, but you do what you must in times of great need. And it seems like somebody could use a few more pints of blood. Oh dear. Well, apparently this opened at one point. It's not gonna budge now. But apparently it did. Hmm. Phonograph. S. What if that is the manufacturer, whoever is supposed to have owned it? Or whoever lives here? Creepy. Phonograph all by itself. <sighs> this place gets better and better. Let's follow the weird blood trail under the broken door. Ah, there's another one. Maybe this is a normal person. Uh, hello, sir! Hello? Excuse me, could you point me in the direction of the main street, please? No? Uh, uh, so sorry! Please! Please! Don't! Mm. Oh, that's pain. Okay, uh, mm. Was it vile? Was it vile? Was it? There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is! Nice. Woo! Okay. I only had one of those. I just ward off the pain. I don't suppose that is the guy whose blood this is, or perhaps that is the person who uh, <laughs> caused this blood to bleed in the first place. I got a good look at his eyes, though. They do not seem human! What are these things? Well, my university days, I did spend a semester on the fencing team, so I do know how to defend myself. And, of course, there was all that time that I spent skulking around the grounds, sneaking in and out and around to, you know, the various things that you do when you're in college and youthful and don't care about the penalties, because you don't think you'll ever get caught. I never was caught, though. Let's see if we can continue that fashion here. You know what, sir? I will just leave you to whatever it is you are doing. Just blindly staring out that window. Highly aggressive, large glowing eyes. Yes, indeed, my overall thought has come to. If they ever were human, they aren't anymore. Then again, I... Pledge of the Hippocratic Oath does make me not want to uh, harm them if I don't have to. That is, if I don't have to. They are overly aggressive, as it seems. Although they don't seem all that perceptive, they can't see me here in the dark. Also, maybe they can't hear me. Whatever it is that has changed them to be so aggressive and angry all the time, cause of that heavy breathing, apparently seems to have done some to their mental state, made them a little less perceptive. Hopefully I can use that to my advantage. And it's locked! Figures, always locked. Well, do you have a key, sir? More blood on the floor. Hopefully that is from meat. And not from somebody else. Ah, a key! Shiny there on the wall. And some cheese. Well, you know what? You feel a little bit peckish. 
I don't know how much I would trust the food in a place like this. But it is better than nothing. Okay. Key. Give me that. Cheese. Ooh, some gouda. Let's get back to my hidey spot. There's also a lever here. What does this do? Oh my! A secret passage! Of all things, did not expect to see this. Close, 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 close! Ha ha ha! Victory is mine. Short-lived victory, I suppose. It all depends on where this will lead. Oh, joy! Somebody has broken a pipe! Mmm, that is the sweet stench of raw sewage. Just lovely. Anything of use in any of these? Hold it. And a coin? Sure, I'll take it with me. Coin's not gonna buy you much on your own. But add them together, and you'll get a lot more. There's a monocle there. Eh, I'll leave it. Don't want to wade around in this sewage any more than I have to. What do we have over here, though, is the question. Hopefully this will lead me to the manor. It has not. Where am I? I don't know. Excuse me, trash. Nothing but trash, crates, and boxes. Warden Court! Didn't I see that sign previously It said Warden Court where that dead fellow was? I guess I've gone all the way around. Hmm. Is the, uh... Door unlocked, pray tell? It's locked. This must be the other side of that door that I'd listened through. Okay. Sort of figuring out where I am, although I don't know where I should go. I don't see much in the shape of a manor or a main street. That's what we have here. Power station. Not helpful to me at the moment. What does that say? Oh, excuse me, dear boy. Let's not get seen by you. I can't quite read that sign from here. It says... Jailhouse. I have found... The Jailhouse. Great. Ah, oh, that's, that's helpful. Finding the Jailhouse. I'm looking for a main street with a matter on it, and I find the jail. Okay, well, I guess we might as well head back where we came from and see if we can find that street. At least this secret passage is here. Could be a bit useful in the future. That must be what you are looking at constantly over here. You already know the secrets of this place, don't you? Yes. Well, I got a key. I can head back outside and see what's over there. If there's anything loose. Hopefully it uh, appears to lead outside, although all I see through that window is more brick and mortar, so how outside of the outside is, is a different question. Well, I'm still alive at this point, so that's a good sign. Hopefully this key goes to this lock. Aha! Yes, Eureka. Perfect. Okay, well, I have another way out. I don't want to go to the jailhouse, because that just seems to lead to nothing but dead ends and more of these... whatever they are. I swear, they are not human, not anymore, at the very least. I do still feel kind of bad about her needing to harm them, but if it comes to them or me... Well, it comes to me, then. Where am I at now? tree. Dead, of course. Wouldn't expect to find anything living in a, such a dimsy place. Look at all that smog. Being here is probably going to cause me to catch some sort of illness. Nothing but bricks and bars. Well, it's a lit street, so I imagine it might be the main street. Blood moon. And a wolf howling. Well, as if things weren't ominous enough, now that's even more so. 
What do we have over here? I want to leave this place as soon as possible. The docks. Oh, this could make it for a good exit. But I wasn't meant to go to an exit, though. I was told to go to the manor. Looks like there's some guards around anyway. And it is shut. So we need to find a way to open that. To go that way. Even if I wanted to. Oh, I'm so nervous. So... Mm. I don't know. I don't have the words for it. It's affecting my thought process. It's affecting my speech. Just keep it together. You'll find your way out of this somehow. You can do this. You can do this. There's things behind that portcullis. Hopefully they will stay there. Another way to the jailhouse. This must be the other side of the door that I was at before. It's still locked from here, though. This could be bad, but also could be useful. And the portcullis is moving. That is not a good sign. What does that sign say? Manor of Countess Sylvia. That must be the manor they were talking about. And like the portcullis, that was a bad sign. That is a good one. Uh, that firearm. Mm. Sadly, the one of you that I found dead didn't have such a thing for me to use. But it is, would make for some loud stealth, which is the opposite of stealth. Weren't there two of you? Oh, yes. Okay. Wait for him to get back to that alley, and then I may have to be a bit aggressive with this. The only place to go, it seems, is over there. I can't tell what that sign says, but there's some sort of purple nonsense in front of that door. Well, a scientist, not a sorcerer. I never was one for magics. All right. Just remember to yourself. They're not human, not anymore. They're not human, not anymore. They're not human, not anymore. They're not human, not anymore! All right, let's just put you over here in this corner. There go. Blood. Always comes back to blood, doesn't it? Means these things definitely are some sort of living creature, even though they may not look like it up close or even act like it. Is that wood I see underneath his hat? Is his head made of wood? Are these some sort of puppets? That would explain the large glowing eyes. Magic's on the door. Magic's out here. I, I think this bird may have seen me. Is he going to investigate? No? Mm, good. Good. Please be unlocked. It's not! Why do I ever think? Guardhouse. Well, hopefully that will have at least some answers. Let's see what they got over here. An armory and a key! Can I get that? Yes! Oh, not a moment too soon. I don't know if that key's gonna go to this door, but one can hope, and the only way to find out is to open it. Have a listen, shall we? That breathing cannot be good for you. Well, the breathing makes me feel like they're not some kind of puppets. At the very least, even though... Ah, oh, yes, good. Let's go to that door. Even though I would have thought that, considering the, the texture that they seem to have for skin. What are these things? Anything in here? No. A shotgun would be useful, but is rather loud. If I wasn't going to kill that guard for his weapon, I was not going to take one here. This is a stealth mission as of now. No reason to go around guns blazing and risk having your head chopped off or shot off. One's about as bad as the other. Both are fatal, <laughs> in my professional opinion. Uh, yes, yeah, some stairs to hide under. Reminds me of my young days as a boy back at the house. Playing games with the other children. I was always very good at hiding. Although I did cheat from time to time. They never put anything in the rules about having to stay on the property that you're supposed to hide in. But, uh... <laughs> that didn't mean the others were very happy about me leaving. You do not seem to move. But there are some switches over there. Which could lead to something helpful. Maybe they could dispel the manor. Maybe they could really open up a door to find a way around. Only way to know is to throw them. 
I can't read those signs. Everything must be in such small print. Well, this one seems to be an easy mark that doesn't move. I swear, these things are controlled by some outside force. Oh, hope nobody heard that. Come on, come on. Let's just hide you over here. Right there under the bed, that'll work. Uh, I'll just leave your firearm to you. None of them have any kind of suppressors. Never seen a suppressor, but I have heard of them. Supposedly they make firearms a bit quieter. Uh, hence the name suppress. Suppress the sound. Would be useful in my current situation. But you do with what you can. A note. Jailhouse docks. Ah, that must open the gates. That's what they have here. Captain, the men managed to confiscate one of the seals required to negate the dark magics blocking Lady Sylvia's doors. I reason to believe the foreigners planning to take refuge within the Countess's high walls. I hear more movement. I best get in the dark while I can. Ooh, this is going to be dicey. Their eyes seem lit up, which one would think would make it easier for them to see in the dark. But apparently not. They seem to be... Quite dim, actually, behind the eyes. Is there any switches here? Running around? No. Alright, alright. Quickly, 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 quickly! And we're safe. <laughs> Ugh, not even a scratch on my boots. Could have gone a little bit better, could have gone worse. Always could have gone worse. But I'm alive, and that's at least something. Let's see the rest of this note, shall we? Jeez, suspicious. When did I get revolver rounds? I don't remember having these with me. I must have packed them before I came here. My memory's starting to go. That's not a good sign. Not at all. No, that's the mysterious letter. Here we go. The seal has been placed in the jailhouse evidence locker. All right. So I need two seals. Or at least more than one to dispel the shield on the door, and one is in the jailhouse evidence locker. Well, I have some kind of an objective at least. As where the other seal continues to evade us, a local resident who once worked as a manor servant claims it was lost during the last flood and may have fallen into the tunnels beneath this district. Great. Don't have to go through a storm drain, it appears. Not looking forward to that. As such, we have several men searching around the cistern entrance by the docks. Our eyes remain open. Night Watcher Ramsey. Night Watcher? Is that what these things are? Night Watchers? Is that what they call themselves? Well, at least we have some kind of an objective. Get the seal in the evidence room and look for the one. The tunnels beneath. Through the cistern by the docks. And it just so happened that these gates are the ones that I opened. Yes, with the shortcut that I opened earlier, it should make getting around the jailhouse a little bit simpler. At least finding an exit. I don't really feel all that great about going in there, considering how many of these things that I saw previously. But if we can manage to stay incognito. Perhaps this one can work out in some way other than leading to my death. I am quite surprised at myself with these tricks and staying in the shadows. Never thought that would be a skill set that I would possess. But it, it seems to be working well so far, at least. <sighs> so far. Hmm. I wonder, will that door be unlocked by now? Some time has passed. Perhaps somebody came by with a key? Maybe. Uh, it'd be too convenient, wouldn't it? Guess we're not going that way as of yet. The front door is probably a bad option as well. Especially with all those things in there. Can we go take a side path, perhaps? This would be great if it would open. Come on! <laughs> good, good. 
It's a great plan. It's a great plan. I see over there in the corner we have some switches. Now, if the jailhouse is going to be anything like the guardhouse, it might be similar to the armory which had the switch next to it. So one of those possibly could lead me to the evidence room. But how am I going to get in there with these two nearby? What we need is a distraction. Let's see what we have. Crates, barrels, trash. No, that's not going to be enough. Aha! Uh -huh. Ash brew. <laughs> Nothing but common rot gut. Well, at least it won't be wasted amongst the cobblestones. Alright, fish. Prepare for the bait. Take it. Take that bait. Come on, come on, my fish. Work with me here. I am not a zoologist, so I'm not sure what kind of fish we would be dealing with here. But hopefully it is the stupid kind. Sell, sell evidence. There we go. Aha, that must be it. Let's open up these others while I'm here. Perhaps we could let free some prisoners to cause some chaos. That would be advantageous. What would be more advantageous would be a way out of this room that wasn't blocked by all of these guards. Oh, this is going poorly. I might have to be a little bit fancy here. Maybe not. Good. Can we be good? Come on, come on, come on. What happened to that firearm? <laughs> Advantageous find! As long as I be very, very slow, I shouldn't make too much noise in this vent. Why is there a light in here? They anticipate somebody actually crawling through these things. Well, then again, it doesn't really lead much of anywhere besides they're around the corner. Not much of a vent. Not ventilating anything to anywhere. <laughs> Except for one thing, from one side of the wall to the other. Uh, no matter. It works for my purposes, and that's all I need. Now you... need to not be where you are. They hit the evidence. It opened up to that door over there. Apparently there are no prisoners. There's nobody said anything about a prison break when I opened up the cells. It is unfortunate, but hopefully, if we are quick, I can stop from being thrown in one myself. Or just shot. There we go, the evidence room. And there is the seal! Good. One part of my mission down. A revolver here as well. Well, don't mind if I do. Still a rather loud thing to use. Probably not best in my current situation. If I can just get back to the vent. Oh, they are quite dim witted, aren't they? Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady. That is a firearm. Hmm. Huh. Never seen one damage like that before. I have seen some firearms that have exploded in the hands of those who've used them and treated the uh, the wielders of those firearms as well, but never quite in that way. The way that one is filleted is quite mysterious. Are they still moving? Yes. Yes, he is. Sounds like he seems to be alerted, but they're not looking down here in the vent. Can they look in the vent? Their massive eyes you would think would make it easier for them to be able to see just about anything, but apparently not. Go back in that room, please. Come on, sir, work with me. Uh, every time I get close, it's just too out of a step. How am I going to get out of here without kicking the bucket? Maybe if I could distract them over to this side of the vent, I could go around the other. Or I could just walk this way. The key. 
Perhaps that will go to Warden Court. Quickly and quietly. Quickly and quietly. Okay. Warden Court is already open. Went through the door. I'm risking my life to get that key. It seems to have been a waste of time. It would have been a waste of time anyway. I have the shortcut that I could use. And I will. It's a good thing I found that earlier. Just move this rubbish over here to hide the grate. Well, good news. We have one half of the seal. Now we just need to figure out how to get the rest of it, or where the rest of it could be located. Now they said below the tunnels, below the manor. So I guess I'm going to have to head back over that way towards the docks. Tunnels makes me imagine that it's probably somewhere. Actually, let me bring that that uh, letter up again. It's for the other seal to continue to evade us. So look, residents said, da, 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 flood may have fallen into the tunnels beneath the district. Several men searching around the cistern entrance. The cistern. Great, the waterworks. That could only mean one thing: the joys of frolicking and sewage. Are you not going to move anymore, sir? Well, if you're going to stay there, then I'm just going to move around myself. Grabbed all that cheese before. You know what? I'm going to congratulate myself here. A little bit of a job well done. Where did I put that cheese? There we go. Ah. Good. Delicious. Good cheese. He's still standing there. But these rest of them don't seem to notice my existence at all. Maybe although they've been alerted a couple of times, they don't seem to communicate. Although they did seem to know there was a foreigner about, that cannot be good. Then again, they never mentioned who the foreigner was, so perhaps they were talking about somebody else. Could there possibly be somebody else skulking around in the darkness? I don't know, but I'd rather not find out. You still seem to be as oblivious as ever. At least, that's consistent. Works in my favor. <laughs> oh, maybe you heard me that time. Oh, and there's you. Good thing I'm only headed to the darks. And though the darks were full of plenty of these night watchers. Night Watchmen, whatever they want to call themselves. Guards, puppets. Uh, we all play our roles here in this thing called life. But unfortunately, mine just happens to be in the dark as of any more. Mm. Midnight, just about? Can't quite tell with those bells. Although that's the same bells that have been going off the entire time I've been here. It's almost as if time never passes in this place. <sighs> almost. I'm not looking forward to what we're going to find in the docks. Oh, joy is more of you. And you appear to be one that doesn't want to move. And heavily armed. Well, at least you're dim. Take a quick look to see if there's anybody else looking. No? <laughs> well, sir, let's see if you get the point of my conversation. It's much easier to take these things out once you come to the realization that they are not human. Or at least not anymore. Or at least hope they're not human. I do hope I have not been committing all sorts of horrible acts of murder out here. It's the last thing I need on my conscience after the incident. <laughs> and let's not go back into that, shall we? Still getting nightmares. Oh, you with the axe. It seems that going down will be my best option. At least there is a ladder. And I'll be going straight into the murky depths. Okay, we are good. Is that another vent light? That could be rather useful. Oh, look at this 
horrid water. It's green and yellow. I am going to catch all kinds of diseases here. This is not going to be good for my living in the future. But if I'm going to live in the future, I need to live through the now. <sighs> well... Only way we're going to find out where this vent leads is by going through it, so... Deep breaths. One... Two... <gasps> any good at swimming. Oh, thank goodness there was a way out. <laughs> I was afraid I might have been stuck there. And that is not how I want to die. Drowning in filth water. The docks of this city. I do hear steps above. So I'm not quite out of the woods yet. Let's just hope I can find quick way out of here without getting noticed. <laughs> ah. Alright. Prepare ourselves for the inevitable. Come on! I know how to fence! Flocking is my specialty! <laughs> oh, ow. Hit me right on the thigh. That's gonna leave me with a limp. I don't believe I have... Any more of those vials, do I? No, I have cheesed! It's not gonna hurt me at the moment. Well, there's a revolver. I guess we could use it to relieve the pain. Although I'd rather not take that route unless I have to. Cheese. Well, hopefully it'll serve as a bit of a distraction. That's the best things we're going to get. Oh, this is going to leave quite the mark. No choice but to go forward. I'd rather not head back into the filth water with an open wound like this. I suppose it leaves us then the option being the elevator. Where would I find a cistern around here? Probably closer to the water's edge. But hopefully not. And hopefully nobody heard that. Considering the one that I took out earlier, that seemed to fancy this area, I should be relatively okay when it comes to cards. There is a note, though. Let's grab this here quick. Okay, you don't see me. You don't see me. Hop, skip, and a jump! Alright. We're good. Note to self. Only take the notes you can actually take with you, and don't try to read them out in the open. I should have guessed that. But sometimes you have to learn things the hard way. Cistern entry. Well, it's good that I found this first, before I found the cistern. Or else I'd have to make a loop all the way back around. I ought to have to show him a bit of what for, it seems. There's another one. Oh, it does move. Okay. It goes right back to where it was. Well, let's try and do this the easy way, shall we? Without getting seen. There we go. Can I take you through this vent? Can I put you in this vent? Bit of a tight squeeze. No, it is not going to fit. I don't really want to put him out there, because that other one will probably see. Yep. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just stay with me, old chap. We'll figure out where to put you soon enough. I heard the door open. These things... They aren't all that perceptive, but they do have quite the annoying knack of being where I don't want them. Where are you? There's the butt of your rifle. Nothing over there to use, either. If I could find another vial of the good stuff, hopefully, eventually, ward off this limp. But 
put you down here. I will leave your gun with you. Anything over there I can use? Another one more. Bottles of ash brew. That's not going to be enough to cut the pain. I'm going to have to just live with it. <clears throat> Whether I want to or not. Okay. If I was a cistern, I would be by the water's edge. And the water's edge is over here. So, best thought process of where to go next is over here in the green, murky filth. Ugh, disgusting. I hate cities. I've always much preferred the country myself. When you see water in the country, it's always running blue and beautiful. As opposed to green and sickly. This whole place has a disease upon it. Hopefully one I will not catch. Quickly, maybe I can get under the water. Quick breaths. Swimming after having taken an axe in your thigh is not something that I would recommend. Well, no. What does it say? Cistern entry. Oh, convenient. Oh, well. It could be more convenient. There could not be guards here. Alright. Quickly, 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 more yet more our destination! Oh, this life is going to be obnoxious. He just went right past those boards. That was highly unexpected. I didn't think they would follow me in here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> then again, they are looking for the same seal I am. So I imagine they would follow me to the depths of the earth. Hopefully it will not take me to the depths of the earth. Just the depths of the... Cistern. Oh, a lantern. One that's not connected to any power lines or anything. Well, useful. The rest of these are all bolted into the walls. Well, the good thing about the lantern is that it should be more than enough to cut through this bleak, damp darkness. A bad thing about a lantern is that it cuts double-edged. Makes it easier for me to see, but does make it easier for anyone else to see me. Traipsing through a long lost cistern is not my idea of a good vacation. <laughs> but then again, if I was looking for vacation, what in the world was that? That sounds like a bird. Why would there be birds down here? This is nothing but Brick upon brick upon muck and who knows what else what kinds of waste and whatnot. I am going to get dysentery, I swear it. I know it. <sighs> Control room. Of course you are. I should have known. Well, it appears we're gonna be taking the long way around. Stay out of sight of that one. Does mean I could spend more time with the sewage. Just what is that? Someone's firing a gun. Someone's having a fight. Who would fight down here in all this mess? Anything to do with that sound I heard earlier? Storage. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Main channel. Main canal. I'm beginning to mix my little words for all of this excitement. Alright, calm down, calm down. Fears the little death that dies a thousand times. But strength, you only die once. Although I'd rather that once not be here. That appears to be locked, so we're not going that way. Possibly the control room would be a good way to open the path. I can find another way around. A storage room. 
Perhaps I could find some more vitals of the good stuff. Is that one dead already? That gun appears to be smoking a bit. Well, I guess we know who fired off those shots. But what did they fire those shots at? I'd rather not find out, personally. <laughs> Better you than me, pal. Ugh, I shouldn't make such poorly timed jokes. But one has to keep one's spirits up in this situation. Well, it didn't do you much good. And it is rather loud. It doesn't have much in the way of ammunition. But... It is better than nothing. Speaking of that, I should probably reload this. Now that I do have some bullets. Some bullets, that is. Some is not a lot. I'm going to keep the sword handy, just in case. The firearms are going to be far too loud down here. Possibly going to have to worry about ricochets. What is that? What is that? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. <laughs> Sometimes I hate my cursed life. Why me? Why here? Why now? On report. It's locked, of course. And then there's you. Well, at least I know how to deal with you as of now. I've gotten quite good with it. I don't know if that's necessarily a positive. Is that more music? Well, why would there be music down here? It's the same tune that was being played from the other phonograph. Is there another phonograph down here? Who would put a phonograph in a cistern? Uh, maybe was washed down here with the seal. Perhaps they're in the same location. One can only hope. Okay, we're good. We're good. Doesn't seem to be anybody else about. What is it, at least one thing? Alright. Board it up, no less. The phonograph is in a room. It is boarded up. They would have had to put it in there, set it to play, walked out, and then boarded the door. Well, these things are quite dim. So far, they haven't been known for their uh, brains, but I don't know why anyone would do such a thing. Ugh. This limp is getting on my nerves. No vials in here, and the seal is not here either. Just another S phonograph. I imagine that's the manufacturer. I can't imagine there would be an owner for it down around here. Well, back to searching. <clears throat> really wish I could find a way to get rid of this loop. What do we have here? C door control, storage, main canal. And it is missing. Well, isn't that just dandy? The only way else that I can think of going, and it is broken! Anything here? Anything about it? If anyone left in this dreaded station, yes, unfortunately, that would be me. These levers control the pressure gates to the cistern. The levers in the leftmost and right, control room, yes, I already read the labels, thank you! I don't need you to remind me, they're literally written right in front of me. I swear, these night watches are thick. If you're struggling to navigate the corresponding gate, you can follow each of the pipes to their destination. Take care not to forget to fill the lantern, as the crowmen have been quite aggressive. Crowmen? What in the world does that mean? Dismantled the level to the pump room and shelved it in the storage room after the last attack. Well, at least I know where to go. I need to go to the storage room. So I wanted to throw the lever. Last attack? Crow men? What is going on here? Uh, okay. 
Okay. I don't know if the fumes of this place are starting to get to me. But I just saw a man with a bird head walk past. <laughs> just, just saw a man with a bird head walk past. I, I guess those are the crow men. Because of course they are. Why would this be simple? Why would this ever be simple? Oh, joy. Well, let's make it quick. And hopefully painless. It's a bit harder to get around than crouching with this wimp, but at least the breeding seemed to stop. That's some positive, I suppose. The storeroom is up to the left. Now, the question is, are these crow men smarter or more perceptive than the night watchers? If they are, this is going to be a lot more difficult. If they're not, it will still be rather difficult. Oh, they reek horribly. And then again, I don't smell all that fresh myself. It's going to take me days to get this stench out of my clothes. I might just have to flat out buy some new ones. If I can ever get out of this cursed place. Storage. Alright, let's see what we have in here. Any vitals of the good stuff? Anything at all? Aha! Uh -huh. We have ourselves a lever. At least the note was telling the truth. So we found an item. I needed to find an item. Can I risk a light in here? I don't like doing it. But if I could find another vial that would be extremely helpful... That does not appear to be my luck. A shotgun shell, though. I will take that. Where did I put that shotgun? Another shotgun. Uh huh. Let's reload here quickly. Another shell down the tube. Hopefully, I will not need it. But as I have said before, and will state again, it is better to have and not need than to need and to not have. Deliver. I'm gonna to to go back to the control room around this route. Needs more sneaking past these horrid crows. What is that shiny thing up there? But a coin! Well, it goes towards the fund of allowing me to buy some non sewage covered clothing. It's at least some positive. If I can hopefully. Won't have to replace bloodied clothing. Oh, come on. Your eyes don't shine like the Night Watchman. Which I hope means they don't see as well. I'm trying to recall Bird's sight in the darkness. I know there are hawks and eagles who have telescopic sight. As if they have two spy glasses attached to their face. But I cannot recall if there are any that can see easy in the dark. And then again, owls are nocturnal. So you would think they could see easier. Generally, animals have less of a problem seeing in the dark than human beings. And just the lovely roll of the dice of genetics. There we go! Now just to go back around and see what fresh hell awaits me over there. The seal has to be nearby. There can't be much more to this system. I can't imagine. Although I'm not quite sure if it only goes around the manor or the entire town. If it is connected to the whole town, it could be quite the labyrinthian maze. Just the manor, though, and it may be a bit easier to navigate. Main canal pump room. Hopefully the seal will be over there. It is not in there, unfortunately. <laughs> Thankfully, I guess it's at least something. 
Get away from those crow men, really. Oh, but that is the last I have to see of them. Bloody cobwebs. Good thing I'm not arachnophobic, or this would be more of a nightmare. Although I have heard that supposedly the average human eats eight spiders while they sleep in their lifetime. Ugh. What in the world is that? Okay. All right. Just a, just a leaky pipe. Nothing to be worried about. Nothing to be worried about. <laughs> oh, nothing but a freaky, leaking pipe. I hate this place. I hate this place more and more. What is that? I don't know if I saw a viral there for a second. Nope, nothing but more mud and muck. And more bird sounds. <sighs> Who wants to go down the creepy tunnel first? Any volunteers? No. Just me, then. Lovely. Ugh. That is not good feeling on my leg. I don't like how close that one sounds, especially since I cannot see him. It. Although there's cheese down here. I would not generally recommend eating cheese you would find in a system. But beggars cannot be choosers, and at the moment I am begging quite a bit. Where did I put that? There we go. Small relief, but some relief at least. Oh, this lake of mine is going to be a problem. I know it. At least I already have a cane to help me walk a little bit. Am I far enough in to not get seen? <laughs> okay. Good news. They are about as perceptive as the night watchers. So, hopefully that means they are quite as dim as the Night Watchers. If they are, then perhaps this is actually going to be doable. If not, I'm just going to die a horrible, terrible death and be eaten by Birdmen. Oh, well, that's a lovely thought. Eaten by Birdmen. I wonder how I taste. Especially now that I've had all that cheese. <gasps> is that... What I think it is, yes. The seal. There it is. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for. It's just behind all of these... monsters. Well, if a distraction worked before, then maybe a distraction will work again. Any loose bricks? No. Bottle. Come on, Ash Brew. Play your tricks again. Hopefully that will be far enough to allow me to pass. I don't like that noise they make. I don't like it one bit. What have we here? We have ourselves an elevator. And a power switch. Well... As long as it's not locked, it should make for an easier way to escape this nightmare. As long as it's not locked. I can't leave without the seal first, though. Or else, coming down here would have been completely in vain. A total waste of my time and effort. I'd rather it not be. There's a lot going on, and I would hate for it to have all been for naught. Keep looking at the wall, my friend. There is nothing to see at all, my friend. You are rather tall, my friend. Go over there and have a ball. <laughs> I should write that down for the future. If I ever get out of here and have a future. Alright, we have the seal. No, I just need to... Not... <laughs> seal? Okay, okay, okay. Back around the wall. Back around the wall. <laughs> Maybe I have a chance at this. Maybe we can actually get through this alive. 
<laughs> by we, of course. I mean myself and my conscience. It is weighing on me already at the lives I have taken. But considering the alternative, I will have to worry about it later. Elevator. Hopefully this will not set off any kind of alarms. And hopefully it is unlocked. It seems my luck is beginning to turn. As it, it is coming down. Let's get ready to run just in case. And there's an alarm. There's an alarm. All right. All right. Who wants some? <laughs> Fools! <laughs> Fools! I actually made it out of that alive. <laughs> Perhaps there's hope for me yet. Perhaps I can do this. I can get to the manor. I can. What do I do after I get to the manor? What do I do in the manor? Oh, I'll worry about that when the time comes. <clears throat> Elevator's a lot easier than a ladder, thankfully. With this leg of mine, I don't know if I can do climbing. Gate access. Oh, thank goodness the gate is right there. I don't know who was the madman that designed all the mechanics of this place. But they have a bit of a nasty habit of putting switches far away from where they are needed most. I hear more steps. Yes. There is always another guard. There is always more night watchmen. Hopefully they only stay around at night. And if at some point in the future the sun were to show up and show its blistering hot face, they would disappear. Ooh, another coin. More to the uh, not mud covered fund. Not blood covered clothing fund. Well, sir, I have dealt with your friends. I have dealt with the crowmen. I will deal with you in due time. And if need be, ah, darkness. I was afraid my loot give me away there. Oh, this thing hurts like the devil. Hopefully, the manor will have some way I can patch myself up. All right, we are good. We are good. One more guard, and I'll finally be at the manor. And finally, hopefully out of this nightmare, and not from the frying pan into the fire. Where's that other one? I do not see them. Good. Good. Oh, there they are. All right. We shall be safe and not as actually. Didn't I see some, yes, yeah, some bottles? A small distraction should do nicely. Head over there. Yes, you did hear a noise. What could it be? A rat? A cat? A bottle? <laughs> it's not me. One. Two. It worked! <laughs> oh, goodness. This has been quite the adventure. But I made it to the manor. I'm actually here. The end is within sight. <laughs> Still have a huge pain in my thigh and getting a bit parched. Oh, can you see me through here? I hope not. <laughs> Best to play it safe. The last thing I'd want is to lose it now. Who is this Countess Sylvia, though? I'm not sure. G told me they would meet. What is that? What is that? Hello? Is somebody here? Fancy place. Please tell me they have a vial or two to spare. Inside Who's at last, are you? Who is that? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome indeed. I feel like I'm going to need a shovel to dig my way out of this mess. Or at least a pitchfork. 